Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So before we start with today's uh, content, a little reminder, we have just two days left of this special Bybit bonus that is going on for the whole month of October. So only for today and tomorrow it's valid. So make sure that if you want to trade over on Bybit, Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x leverage or if you're already trading and you used my referral code that you find down below here in the video description, you can get right now up to $180 in bonus if you put a deposit between 0.1 to 0.3 Bitcoin, you just have to put this voucher code in the rewards hub over on Bybit. So don't forget, you just have two days left of this special Bybit bonus. And now let's start straight into the content, my friends, because Bitcoin is once more consolidating here before we are getting into the next big move. So be prepared to trade it here in case that we have a breakout here to the upside or to the downside, because currently it looks like that Bitcoin could have a breakout to the downside since we now are closing four hour candles below the 20 moving average, which right now is lining up here at 13,350 dollars and also it looks like that the RSI is in a very critical point so in my opinion it is very likely that we could have your breakout to the downside but if you want to trade the safe way then wait for a possible close below $13,000 or if we break out to the upside for a four hour close above $13,700 and the target in that case to the upside would be up here at around $14,200 which I think is very possible to get reached within this week potentially even towards Saturday or Sunday because very often we see on the weekends a pump and then a retracement back down on Monday where we close the CMEs also on Friday because the CMEs are going to close today daily weekly and also monthly candle and that's why it is very important that the CMEs are closing above $13,000 in order to have a very good outlook for the next coming weeks because in that case I think we will most likely see this $14,000 retest next week and potentially even are able to break it but there are also many big warning signs that we could see a potential bigger correction in the Bitcoin price. So in case that we're going to close a four hour candle below $13,100 I'm going to open up a short position and write it down towards our previous resistance, which now should be new support right here at $12,200. And there potentially we're going to see a possible bounce to the upside. But if $12,200 is not going to hold, then be prepared to see the retest here of this $11,000 where also our main support is lining up. And also if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that right now we are trading on the bearish side. So we could in theory drop towards $12,900. 90 pretty soon we also have all the indicators shifted to the downside so i'm expecting more pushes to the downside today than to the upside even though we have now a trading range here between 13,130 and 13,600 dollar so watch out here for a possible breakout to the upside or to the downside if you at least want to take a short lift trade because i think with this next move you can do some nice gains especially if you go with leverage over on bybit or femex and if we compare now the DXY to the Bitcoin price, you can see that currently the DXY is giving a sell signal. Also, we have the RSI very overbought. But as you can see, since we are breaking out from this falling wedge that we were in here in the last couple of days and weeks, you can see that currently we are forming a bull flag, breakout bull flag. And now potentially we're going to see another breakout to the upside unless of course we're gonna see a bigger correction towards our new support here at around 93 dollars and 50 so it is possible that the dxy is gonna take another dip but it is more likely that we're gonna start to pump again more to the upside since we are breaking here very significant resistances here on the DXY. But you see that in the lower time frames we are already getting some sell signals. So it is possible that we have to cool off here first before we gearing up here for another big move to the upside. Only if the DXY is really crashing below 93.30, then I'm expecting a bigger sell off here in the DXY and the potential big push to the upside in the Bitcoin price, which most likely will take us way higher than $14,000. Because in that case, I think we will break this resistance that we have right here above the actual price. 
And now if we go over into the daily time frame, you can see that currently we're still trading far away from the 20 daily moving average is perfectly lining up here in my bearish target of this breakout right here, $12,200. If we're gonna see a breakout to the downside, we also got the sell signal in my own indicator. And also you can see that the RSI is still very overbought. So in my opinion, we are coming very close to a potential pullback here, which could take us at least towards 12,200, potentially even towards our main support down here at $11,100. Only if the DXY is able to push higher here towards the 200 daily moving average, as you can see here, is lining up at $97. If the DXY is strong enough to push at least towards this price level, I'm expecting the Bitcoin price to drop even below $11,000. So my target in that case would be between $10,000 to $9,000 to also close all the CME gap and also have a final crash and bottom so then we can start to push again higher because the DXY could have this possible push here towards the 200 daily moving average and still getting rejected here since in the DXY we are still in a very big bear market and the 200 daily moving average should hold as a resistance here during a downtrend and the opposite in the Bitcoin price the 200 daily moving average which right now is right at $10,000 should hold as a very strong support and also if we have a look into the Bollinger Band in a daily you can see that currently we are just retracing back to the nine day moving average. And if this one is getting lost, so if we have a daily close below $13,000, in my opinion, we will go straight towards 12,200, the midline here of the Bollinger Band. And if here we're not gonna see a big bounce to the upside potentially to test 14K, then we're gonna see a fall towards this $11,000 area. Important is that we're gonna hold 11,000, otherwise be prepared for a bigger sell-off. And then most likely we will also see a big rally in the DX XY towards here the 200 daily moving average. I don't think we will go higher than that. So I'm expecting here a big rejection in the DXY, but this will be the perfect buy opportunity if you still need to accumulate as much Bitcoins as you want. Because I think we are in final days that we're gonna see Bitcoin in these price levels before we're gearing up into new levels. And now we can also have a quick look into the weekly time frame because here you can see all the important moving averages that Bitcoin needs to respect in case of a pullback. Here first the 20 weekly moving average at $11,000. That is very key if we're gonna have a drop because we need to close weekly candles above this moving average in order to support our bullish momentum here to the upside. If we're starting to close weekly candles below the 20 weekly, then I'm afraid that we could see a bigger correction even down towards the 200 weekly moving average which currently is at seven thousand dollar i don't think we will go that low but this is still in the cards since the 200 weekly moving average so far always held as a very strong support when something really bad was happening like here in march or also when we had this big crash in 2018 from 6k down to three thousand dollar and you can also see that currently the RSI is a bit overbought. So it is possible that we're gonna see a pullback before maybe reaching 14K and even go higher. And if we go over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are still overshooting into the upside. So pullback even down towards $11,000 is still healthy. And I think for the long term, we will be doing very fine if we're starting to buy everything from now on down to 10K, everything will be a very good entry. But if you're looking for the ultimate cheapest price then put your buy orders possibly starting from eleven thousand dollar and going down towards 9k because that is still in the cards to be reached if we're gonna see a major crash which could happen since the dxy is breaking significant resistances and based here on the bollinger band in the weekly we could even drop down towards the bottom here which is at eight thousand four hundred dollar so my buy orders are starting at eleven thousand dollar down to seven thousand dollar where the 200 weekly moving average is i don't think they will get filled down at seven thousand but the ones at around 9k i think are still very likely to get filled if we're gonna have like a flash crash or anything like that but this is only really since the DXY is breaking out from this structure that we were in here in the last couple of weeks. As you can see here, the first time we're coming up to test here the 20 weekly moving average. And I still think that the DXY right now has the chance to have a major run up here towards this 96 to 97 dollar area, which also here in the past acted as a very strong support and right now could be the new resistance. And that's why I think it is still very likely that the DXY could have a short lived run up here before we continue to plunge 
here into the abyss because in the long term the DXY will fail and Bitcoin will have its big rise towards 100k potentially even up towards $250,000 by 2021 or 2022. And now we can also have a look into the monthly time frame because I think as long as we are closing above $13,000, the chances are very high that Bitcoin before we possibly could get a pullback will continue to rise here towards 14K and possibly even break it to the upside since we would have a very very bullish close so here on the spot market we have to wait till sunday but on the cmes we're gonna have today this close so let's see if this candle is gonna close today above thirteen thousand dollar this will be very bullish even though there is still a high chance that maybe next month we could have a possible correction to the downside also don't forget that in two days it's halloween and very often in the stock market we always see a big flash crash in the price it's the so-called halloween effect very often we see similar crashes always around halloween sometimes a bit earlier sometimes a bit later so be prepared and don't get into panic mode if you see any kind of flash crash take it as a very good buy opportunity doesn't matter if in the crypto space or in the stock markets this is the so-called halloween effect which very often happens always around halloween and that's why you should be prepared and also have already your buy orders in the order books ready because if we're gonna have any kind of a flash crash it will be happen very very fast so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and also feel free to join my other channels especially the disco trading chat this is also where you can get access to my own indicator where it gives you buy and sell signals so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye